Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's Jeb here, and welcome back to episode 26 of Let's Play Agrarian Size 2. Um, if you watched last episode, episode 25, you will notice that I probably said uh, episode 24 when I've already had an episode 24. That's just because I've been so confused and mixed up on all my days here. Because, I mean, for granted, we haven't played Agrarian Skies in a long time. So, and I wonder if these guys are still going strong. Yeah. I wonder if they're they're tran Yeah, I think they are transferring with the test racks. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna come down here. We're gonna take a break, like I said from last episode, from Batania, and we're gonna let this just keep uh, giving a, getting us mana. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna sleep through the night first. Like, where are these pigs coming from? Okay, I gotta know. I am not planning any pigs, any any. There's no way. Oh, unless they spawn on grass, that's what it is. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Do we have a shovel by chance? We do not. Okay, well we got our grass, so I don't think we're gonna need this anymore. So let's take out this crap. I was wondering why my, uh, uh, chickens were, were spawning. Okay, and can we actually make a shovel real quick? Do we have any type of shovel? Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to make a shovel. Let's go ahead and make a, an excavator. And just for... Just for fun here. We're going to turn this... That sh yeah, okay, that's off. And we're going to make... Let's see. Let's make a shovel real quick. So we need a, or let's make an excavator for that fact. We're gonna need a large plate, large binding, large, okay. That doesn't seem too bad. And we actually don't have that. Where is all of our stuff, to be honest? Maybe we haven't made it yet. Okay, can we at least make make one of these stone rod um stone head and stone axe okay and then with this we're going to throw in some iron so let's see how many how many materials it makes. Actually, I don't think we need to make that because we have the axe head. We do need to make the shovel head. And then we need just need the tool rod. So that's 0. 0.5. That's one. Let's get uh, one, two, three ingots. And then aluminum brass. How do we make aluminum brass again? That is going to be uh, one copper. Unless we have it, aluminum. We do have some aluminum brass. Let's do. I think we can just do one aluminum brass in here. Then also three iron. Let's take a look. Because we're going to need a stone shovel. Yeah, but today's episode, what we're going to be doing is not making a shovel. Um, but we are going to be trying to automate we're going to take a, a, a break from batania just for an episode or two and we're going to work on some more techie stuff more automating um just basically teaching our system some cool stuff and i'm guessing that went into there okay i thought this was turned off it is okay well how did you Let's just let's just take that off. That's fine. And then we'll uh we'll try that again with some uh more aluminum brass. Get another piece of aluminum. Toss it in here. And then we'll let that go. As for now, we can uh take this out and get ourselves an iron one of you. 
and an iron one of you. And then um, we should be good to go. Let's see. Aluminum brass. And then iron. That looks good. And let's get our hammer and servo. And I don't know why. Oh, okay, I forgot there's a lever. That's what it was. That's what we were missing there. Okay. No wonder. So now we should have all the components. To make this, and we'll throw that back in there. And I think we have a trash can somewhere. Do we have a trash can? No, but we can throw it into here. Let's go ahead and throw this together. We got an iron Maddox, which is basically just gonna be our shovel so that we can move all this uh, grass blocks here. Okay, looking good. And why not go ahead and replant these? Awesome. So now we shouldn't have animals keep spawning, which isn't a huge deal, except that they are very vicious. Okay, so um, we're going to throw a shard in here because we don't need that anymore. And we're going to continue on our video for today. So we need to figure out a way on how to get ourselves a machine frame. So first, let's go ahead and make a, an interface. Let's just craft like, can we craft like five of these guys? We're mixing some Fluix dust. And I thought we could teach this guy some how to make some Fluix, Fluix dust. So pulverizer, right? So can we get some uh, Fluix dust? Fluix, one Fluix Crystal and one Fluix Dust. Boom. We're going to throw that in the pulverizer. Downstairs here. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. And now we have a way to create a Fluix Dust. So let's, let's see if we can get some interfaces now. Let's get five interfaces. It looks like we can craft everything. Eventually, I'm going to want some acceleration cards. We're just missing like all of our diamonds. Hopefully uh, we'll start getting more diamonds here soon after processing all this or, or keep on shifting stuff downstairs. So let's take a look at this uh, interfaces. And how is that coming along? Don't know what we're waiting on here, but let's take a look. Interface. I do not know what it's waiting on. You know what? It might be downstairs. We waiting on this guy? I'm confused on why this is not going.
So it's it, it's definitely stuck on pure the pure nether. And let's see how we got that. Pure nether quartz is dropping a nether quartz seed. Uh from wait, it, drop a nether quartz seed made from nether quartz dust and sand into a puddle of water. Okay, so this should be it. Okay, so we're gonna have to teach it how to make pure nether quartz. I don't know how it knows how to make that. Let's see if we can fix that. Where is our guy there? Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. So let, I guess this this episode is gonna consist more of uh, troubleshooting, but that's totally fine. Let's find out where this crystal growth chamber. Where is that crystal growth chamber? Should be downstairs, right? Yeah, so. Okay, so no, it crafted it. It's just not yanking them out. Okay. Um. There it goes. Okay, so now we should be able to make the interfaces. So a little bit of a bug, but no problem. I don't know how all of this is landing down here, but it is. Okay, so now we should be good, right? If we say interfaces, and we wanna craft five of them. Five, okay. So we're gonna just grab a couple. And now we're going to teach our ways. Um, something we do use a lot in 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 this mod pack is uh, going to be machine frames. Right, machine frames are kind of essential in this game. Um, I don't know if it knows how to make this. Let's actually grab that again. So it needs a 10 gear. So let's teach it a 10 gear. So we're gonna get 10. Right, we go one, two, three, four. And we're gonna toss the 10 in this guy and get ourselves a gear, right? We gotta think on this. And I'm gonna turn these into the this this version of it. The smaller, more condensed version of it. And we're gonna tell our machine here. We're gonna throw that if we can back there, right? And we're gonna teach it how to make this. So we should have a tin gear in about two seconds. Boom, in there. And we're probably gonna replace these servos to try and make this process as fast as possible. Um, but for now, we'll be fine. So let's go ahead and teach it that. Um, one, two, three, four gives us a gear, right? So we got four ten is equal to a gear. So we're gonna place that in here. And then we're just gonna need um, an, an import bus. And that should be good. So now we got one import bus over here. Awesome. So that's gonna get our gears. So that should be good. And once we hook this all up, it should work. So now, once we have that, we should be able to make a machine frame. Right? 
And then uh, we're gonna need a the next tier of machine frames. And that's just gonna be this guy. And I kind of, I'm just going to do it in here because it's going to be way easier. So let's get this kind of machine frame. And then uh, we're going to have to teach it how to make Electrum. Which it does not know how to make. I do not believe. No. So let's go ahead and teach it how to make Electrum. Which is induction smelter. One, one gold, one silver. That's not bad at all. So we're gonna get one gold, one silver, uh, Electrum, and that should be uh, in the induction smelter. Right? So that's Electrum, and then we get um, Electrum. We're gonna get one, two, three, four. Right, and then we're gonna toss that into this guy start the process on that so that we can teach you how to make an electrum gear which is going to be good we need to teach you how to make invar right so let's go ahead and do uh invar and if i could find the ingot version that's going to be an induction smelter uh two iron one nickel. So two iron, one nickel gives us invar. And that should give us one, two, three invar. And that's also going to go into the induction smelter. And I think actually. I'm mistaken on the on this. Let's let's fix this. Let's fix R cuz this actually should yield. If I'm not mistaken, one gold and one silver actually should give us two electrum. So that's going to go in the induction smelter. These are, well, let's go ahead and finish our machine frames. So we got this one. Now we just need this one. And our last tier. And all of these are just going to go into the uh, molecular assembler. Like this. Awesome. Good deal. And. Hey, loud thunderstorms that we, we should probably sleep through because that kind of scared me a little bit. Can't lie. And now let's see what we're... So we got our electrum gear. Right. So now we can say... Uh, yes. We can say that electrum, for electrum, gives us one gear. Now we're going to need a uh, signalum. And this is going to be a little bit trickier. Let's go ahead and get a gear. And then of course, enderium is going to be the last one. All right. So, um, we got that gear. Let's go ahead and teach you how to make signalum. And enderium so ingot form and of course we know that is signalum blend okay yeah so this one's a little bit trickier right so we're gonna have to teach you how to make destabilized redstone pulverized silver pulverized copper Let's work on, um, let's get a bucket. And then let's get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 
And that should be a bucket's worth. And then we're going to make a uh, redstone. Actually, first, let's get our bucket. So first, we want to teach it. Uh, let's also get some more blank patterns, by the way. Can we get like 10 of these? Yes, we can. It got stuck on something, but that's okay. All right, so redstone. We're going to get uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is going to yield this. If I'm not mistaken. And we're going to have to hook up another interface onto our... Um, let's move this guy a little bit over here. Onto our magma crucible. And then our fluid transposer. And this is going to be a little bit trickier. And how about some cables? Missing that glowstone. That's, that's unfortunate. Let's get some of those. Let's also get a couple more of these. Okay, not bad. All right, so Signalum. We have the gear, right? So we can say for uh, Signalum. Yields a gear. And now we can throw that Enderium in there and we should be good to go. But there's our Signalum gear. And now we need to figure out a way on how. So it's going to insert 10 into here. And that's going to automatically go into there. And then these guys are going to get filled with buckets. All right, so that's going to insert this. This, um is going to insert this guy. So this is going to insert. And I think, let's go ahead and teach, teach this guy on how to make a bucket. And then I think we can probably say, Throw in, oh, no, no, not you. Throw in an empty bucket to yield the stabilized redstone. Maybe. That might work. So once we get it hooked up, of course, we're going to have to test it out. The bucket is going to go into just this, just in case we're out of buckets right this might just work now what else do we need for signalum so the blend we're going to need pulverized silver and pulverized copper let's go ahead and get that let's get uh one silver Let's get three copper. Let's turn him off and go ahead and pulverize this. Okay. Yeah, okay, we should be able to get this. And then we'll teach our system how to pulverize this stuff. If it doesn't know, I don't believe I taught this yet. So we're going to get, um, yield that. So we'll get a piece of copper. Boom. And then we got a piece of silver. Which is right here. Yields that. That's going to go into our pulverizer. 
And now, now we should be able to make Signalum blend. Right? So that's gonna be good. So now it knows how to at least make Signalum blend. And then to make Signalum, Let's take a look here, Signalum. So, um, two and one sand. You stabilize. Let's go ahead and make this so that we can have that. Okay, get rid of the bucket. We got our signal and blend. I have no clue where my um induction smelter is. Actually, we should, yeah, we should be able to use this. We're gonna say, we're gonna teach it, right? So, yep, we're gonna teach it one sand and two of these yields two of those awesome and that's going to go into the induction smelter cool so that should be signalum so i say we hook everything up and test it right and there's an enderium gear for you let's get our our cables right we're gonna need some of these and we're gonna need some uh, smart cables. And I would like some more smart cables, but we can't right now. So we're gonna hook it up like this. We're gonna hook this guy up right here. And the smartest thing to do to make it look better would probably be to just put that guy right there. The smartest thing to do would definitely be to um, have this guy looking a lot neater, but that's all right. We actually should only need this, right? And that has six out of eight channels. So this should have, but let's run this guy down. And then boom, that should have two channels. Yes, nice. Then we're gonna run it uh, this way as well. We're gonna connect these two guys. This should be nice, nice. This should work out just fine. Nice, and then we're just gonna connect it up right there. That should have four out of eight channels. Yes. Okay, looking good. So we have taught it so far. And if you see, the chest is gonna be the gears. It might be other stuff later on, but for now it's gonna be just the gears. And then you should see uh, nothing. That's not good. Uh, we might have to configure to input from the back. Let's make sure it's on input to the back. Then we're going to output the back. But we also have to input. Let's take a look. Yes, we got, uh, let's see. Yeah, magma crucible and fluid trans. So let's see, if it inputs from the back, we're gonna need it to, and yeah, okay, okay. So we just need more input buses. That's right. Let's get two more of these guys. 
Looking good. I'd like to know what's what's holding these up. I think it's definitely how to getting these flux right here. I'm guessing that's what it is. Yep, okay. Got our import buses. Awesome. And these are gonna um Let's see. Yep. He's going to output on the top. Actually, we only need one, right? That just needs to output on the top. So I think this might actually be good. Let's test it out. He stabilized. Let's craft one. It should insert 10 here. Uh, this should insert a bucket, maybe? That's just the only thing missing. So, insert a 10. Good. This should be inserting a bucket. Is that possible? Is it possible to actually do that? I feel like it was. Let's make sure that this is this is going right. He stabilized. We got a bucket, right? That's gonna go there. And then this gets inserted. Boom. It's extracted. Boom, back into the AE system, and we got destabilized redstone. The only thing is, is I don't know if it can insert from the back like this. But let's try it now. Destabilized redstone. Let's go ahead and craft one. Insert 10. Okay, it's just seeming to not insert a bucket. That's our only issue with this interface. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Once a bucket has been inserted, it, it seems no problem. Unless we just keep this loaded up with buckets. That I, I don't see a problem for it. So like if we ask for Signalum. Let's see, let's see what this this 10 Signalum is. Actually, I might have just messed that up. It should be working. Oh, that had pyrothium dust in it. That's probably why. So those just definitely need acceleration cards. Which, remember, we are waiting on. We'll throw some uh, pyrothium dust in there. That's all cleared out. And we should, if we look, have 10 more signalum. Awesome. So that works. We're just going to have to figure out a way on inserting the buckets. But I, I count that as a success, right? So if we have no signalum gears, right? And we need a signalum gear. Boom, we tell that to do that. Signalum gets inserted.
we should get ourselves once this smelts a uh, gear a signalum gear so we have one in there we should get a second one here in any second once this uh, yields us a gear here There it goes, it cools, we get our gear, pops into the chest, boom, it gets extracted, and into our AE system, if we look, we got two Signalum gears, awesome. So that's going to be wrapping up point, um, next episode we'll start with uh, getting the Enderium done, so just some simple auto crafting stuff done, after that, um, a part of the next episode as well. We'll probably figure out a way on how to get this extracted and organized. Probably into another pulverized induction, redstone furnace kind of setup. Um, this we'll have to figure out a way on how to insert. Because I, I, I feel like we should be able to insert buckets, right? But possibly not. But we can't what we can do at least is get buckets. All right, we have two of them. Um Maybe maybe this is why. I I feel like we should insert a bucket. Uh, I'll just have to look it up and do my research to try to figure it out. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, you can hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not currently subscribed uh, for more Minecraft content. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. So peace out.